Hey everybody, Asher here with a channel update. I promised you all I'd be dropping in with a little bit more information for you all, and a little bit more interaction with viewers from this respect. So hopefully this fulfills part of that bargain or promise, and I'm hoping to do some more of this in the future. And there's really three things that I want to talk about today. First is some changes that are coming to the channel for the better, but they have led to some issues in the interim while I'm working on them, so I want to communicate with you all about that. Point two is just to talk about some numbers because I know some of you all love numbers. And then number three are just some requests or thoughts that I have, just that I want some information back from you all, feedback, interaction, any way, shape, or form. So let's start with point one, changes to the channel. Now, if you've seen some of my comments, you may know that I've been pretty pissed or unhappy with how my video quality has been going for Kerbal Space Program and some of my other series as well lately. The issue isn't recording. Bandicam actually puts out pretty good footage for what settings I have it at, which is actually YouTube's uh, 720p settings, which are available on Google's site somewhere. But then Windows Movie Maker just takes those settings and then poops it out and then poops it out again. And then once it comes out, it poops on it some more. It's bad. Just bad. So what I've been looking at is switching to Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere. There is Adobe Premiere that is available, but it's an old version close to uh, kind of the Final Cut Pro that I used way, way long ago uh, before the Adobe was really pushing all of this stuff out in one suite too well. So it is a, a area that I am familiar with. The issue is that there's a lot of bugs that I thought maybe the software uh, or video processing software would hammer out by now, but there's not. So I've had to fight things like audio desync, things like video not popping in like it should, or just switching back and forth and getting herky-jerky. There's, there's been a lot of delays. On top of actually one of my first renders, uh, because I didn't have the settings exactly right, ended up making a 300 gigabyte video out of 700 megabytes worth of footage. So yay, things that happen off camera. Fortunately, I did not wreck my hard drive for that. But the hope full goal is that I will have better quality videos for you all because that's one of the things that I've gotten most requests for you all. When I was just playing things like Scrolls or Hearthstone or a lot of games where there's not a lot of movement on the screen all at once, some of the Windows Movie Maker artifacts didn't matter as much, but as I play things I have a lot more movement, especially Kerbal Space Program where things are very monotone and kind of washed out already, it gets bad. It gets ugly and I'm going to work to fix it. So there's that downside is that things will take longer to upload but I think it's a worthy sacrifice point two is numbers some of y'all really like numbers I want to start with numbers from last year not exactly last year but kind of a month look from a previous channel update where you can see here uh, April to May 2014 kind of around the beginning of the month this is a little bit of a different era and there are some spikes here and there but I mean just these are these are solid numbers, about 40,000 views per month. This was actually a pretty good month for me. One of the last few months I had where I had over about 150 subscribers per month. That fell down quite a bit. But some of you all may have noticed I've had some pretty substantial channel growth since uh, I switched the name of this channel to Asher Gaming. And it's not because I switched the name to Asher Gaming. We'll talk about that in a minute. But a lot of y'all have joined this channel because of Kerbal Space Program and some other content as well. Mostly Kerbal Space Program. So hello, welcome to you all. Let's look at the Viewmageddon 2015 here. That's the wrong picture. You can see the monthly views that I've had are, uh, I've gained 650 net subscribers. I've had over 121,000 views. And for some people, that's, that's a day on YouTube. But for a smaller channel with uh, over 3,000 subs now, which is pretty cool, this is, a, this is a big boon, and I appreciate you all coming here, joining, sticking around. And I look forward to providing content for you all. So please, by all means, comment, interact. I love getting feedback, and I love responding to you guys. So I just want to take a brief, tiny look a little bit deeper into the numbers here so we can do some numberception, if you will. If I can find the right picture that I'm wanting to look at here. First is the actual view count. Peak views that I had was April 30th, 2015, and that was in the midst of the big, big Kerbal Space Program release. I had a lot of videos that got very popular, and you can see things kind of tail off a little bit towards the end, about the 2,500 uh, view range by the end there, which is about what I expected. Pretty much my daily views over doubled over, over the tail end of this with a pretty hefty spike in the middle. Now, my videos actually still search metadata pretty well. The problem is that you have some of your 
Uh, there are much larger YouTubers that do Kerbal Space Program. I especially recommend Scott Manley. He's great. He gives a lot of good information. Also, he's doing a uh, beginner's tutorial series, which is absolutely wrecking uh, my traffic sources. But hey, you know what? He gives great information and is very succinct, and I definitely recommend you check him out. Uh, but it has contributed to that spike not quite being staying as much as I maybe expected at first. But I mean, you see these numbers, it's still a massive, massive improvement over before because if we look at that other number there, it was what? 300% growth from the previous period. That's good. So what do we have next? I just want to look at the subscriber count as well. And this is important just to point out because I dated this back to when I made my last channel update when I uh, announced the uh, channel name change. If only because I want to show you all the subscriber count and how it's changed. And by the end here, I've lost a few subscribers on the tail end of this, if only because I've had to delay releasing videos due to AV issues. But when I changed the name, I knew I would have some subscriber loss. I've never lost 27 subscribers in a day. And note that my subscribers gained was actually very good. This was actually, once again, at the release of Kerbal Space Program, and I was gaining so many subscribers that I only had a net of negative 10 for losing 27. I'll tell you what contributes to that. When someone sees Asher Gaming come up on their feed and they have no idea who the hell that is, or missed my video, or missed anything that said, oh, by the way, I'm changing my name, click unsubscribe. That's most of what those were. Most of those were just channel straight up unsubscribes. I actually gained a few subscribers from my uh, announcement video, which is weird, but okay. Still, by far the biggest subscriber gain I've had during a month, like tripling when Starbound released, which was my previous high. Oh, okay, not tripling, doubling at least. But there's those numbers. Some of you really like the numbers, and I just want to give that to you all because I think it's important for you all to at least know how things are going from that end because I, I like numbers too. But the last part here is really about you all, the viewers. Once again, I'm very grateful for those of you, whether you are long-standing people who've been around since my early horrible audio days of FTL, stuck with me through uh, scrolls for as much as I could muster until eventually I kind of lost the will to play that, may have picked up on some of the Hearthstone content that I had or really are a new viewer, whether it's from some of my more recent series or the big influx from Kerbal Space Program. Biggest thing is welcome. I, I really appreciate the fact that YouTube allows me to share gaming experiences that I don't otherwise get to because I don't really know a lot of people in real life that A, play what I play, and B, uh, just do anything on YouTube. But also it's kind of fun just to interact with people that I don't really know from around the world. Now to that end, I do stream, I have streamed some, it is Asher Games now, or Asher Gaming is the Twitch channel, I'll make sure and put it up here on the video, post-processing is fun. And I'm going to be streaming more in the near future, work has kind of gotten in the way with that, because work and life has to come first, got to pay those bills somehow. But, the bigger stretch of that is I'm looking for some other things that maybe viewers may be interested in. And let me go ahead and enumerate those now. I want to bring back the viewer's choice segment that I used to do. So if you all have any recommendations for games or genres or anything you'd like to see that may be up for a viewer's choice or just in general recommendation, hey, play this, by all means you can message me or you can just leave a comment in the video. Second, I've had some people say, you know what, your triangle's very Illuminati-esque, I'm creeped out or that looks like a terrible clip art thing. I want something new and different. I am open to if someone wants to make a different icon for me, by all means you're welcome to. If you want to send it to me and I can take a look, I'm not making any guarantees that I'll take it, but art is not my strong suit, as you may well know. So I'm open to that. Same with the channel banner up above. If you're wanting that, by all means, uh, let me know if there's a channel banner you're interested. I can let you know some of what I'd like to have in there because I want something that's a little bit more of a collage instead of one game. But I, if anyone wants to at least make suggestions or give guidance for me to make it myself by all means i am all ears on that because this is a channel for you all not just for me so third i think i'm on point three maybe i'm on point four is that i'm also looking to start a bit more of a blog slash vlog series i told you before i'm going to be getting a webcam and part of that is for work but part of that's for here too so that's fun and some of the vlogs are going to be game related and some of the vlogs are going to be a little bit more of my uh, career related because there is some interesting intersect with that and I kind of want to delve into that a little bit more also just some real life 
as well. So if there is anything that you may want to kind of hear about, whether it's, and I mean, just some ideas I've had includes just legal issues that are coming up in the gaming world. And there's always a few of those. I, I love IP law, although I don't, I'm not smart enough slash have the degrees enough to have the patent bar be something that I can do. But IP law, trademark, and copyrights are things that I like to talk about quite a bit. Uh, gaming and parenting as well, there's a lot of issues that come up there. I have a lot of thoughts on that, especially now with kiddos. I've, it's, it's perspective orienting, let's put it like that. And then just fun things in general. If there's something you want to hear me talk about, if you want me to do a uh, just answer viewer questions, by all means, I'm open to that. So, hey, there we go. Ideas, things I just want to throw around. I think this is a record for the longest channel update I've had. Oh, and I'm also going to be updating the uh, opening unsubscribe person trailer here in the near future. I just want to get some new games on there. I ditched the old one because it was old. But we'll do that in the coming days for now. I pretty much should just cut this off here. This is Asher. Thank you again for sticking around. Just want to give you all an update on the channel. It's been a very fun month, and I hope we can have more months like this in the days to come. My numbers are going to drop quite a bit, but I don't care because it's nice to have successfully, with you all's help, breathe life back into this channel. And that's what I really wanted to do a month ago. And damn it, that's what we've done. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. I will see you all next time.